Hey guys, Gogs are here and tonight we are going to Motherwell vs Celtic in the Premier Sports Cup quarter final. You know, this game is not detrimental to how we do this season, but if we somehow pull off a shock result and get a trip to Hamden, that would be absolutely sensational. Without further ado, let's get cracking. I'm on the well. <laughs> got the train that got in to Motherwell about five to six so I think we'll just miss kickoff but prediction today uh, you know we're like playing against Celtic or Rangers especially at home we we'll play better against them away and I think we're good I think we'll get beat 2-1 the night I think if, if we do score it'll be we'll we'll score first and it'll be too early because we have a thing where we score too soon against the old firm and then they end up coming back and biting us in the back sides. But anyway, cup quarter final tonight. I'm just hope, hope, hoping that we can do something, but it's a hope that kills you, isn't it? So we've managed to just get in seven minutes into the game. Today was a hassle, but we've managed to get here. Come on the well. Oh my, oh my, that was so lucky. Far too open here. Oh, what a save. Well, and they're and we're giving them far too much space out wide. coming because we were actually coming back into the game like we were growing into the game but uh, I think that was really bad sportsmanship for Celtic play on when they had a man do so I'm just clutching at straws it was only a matter of time before Celtic were going to score but right before half time is a kicker yeah, I thought 
we had got into half time and 0 0, we'd have, I'd have thought we might have had a chance. Half time, we're 1 0 down. So, my verdict at half time, you know, if you're allowing Celtic to play Tika Tanka in your own box, you're always going to be in for a tough night, and we've let them do that far too much. Uh, Stuart McKinstry had a great chance at 0 0 in which he ballooned the ball over the bar. He was completely unmarked. He was completely unready for the cross. Uh, I, I think it was Shields that did the, the great ball, the groundwork for the chance. And apart from that, Goss has had a shot from long range, but we've not done an, an awful lot. I, mean, I think we played better than we did on Sunday against Rangers in that first half. But again, we are behind. And it's not, it's not just their own doing, it's, I mean, Celtic have been very good and they were always going to be good, but we, they, they've missed a handful of chances themselves, like, it could be three or four now at half time, so I don't think we can have any complaints that we're behind at half time, but we just need to be a bit better and a bit smarter on the ball, because that's why we're getting beat, because we're not thinking about things. Anyway, bring on the second half, 1-0 down. Second half, a bit to kick off. On the way. Come on, good ball in here. Oh! Oh! I can't believe he left that. Come on. Go on, Penny. Offside, absolutely everyone. This touch is absolutely pathetic. It's a yellow. To be fair, we were out as soon as we were drawn to play Celtic in this. Right, no, <laughs> stop that. It's only 56 minutes in and 27 seconds. I am not having that. Be optimistic. Kim, what? If we win this game now, I will buy you a designer handbag for your birthday. See, I'm not a handbag girl, I'm more of a football player. Girls, if you can buy me one of the players, I'll be more happy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Oh, of course it's worse still. <laughs> there was three around them. You know, the worst thing about tonight is we've got this mob again in a couple of weeks. I don't know what's wrong with the team. It's like they've got no motivation, they don't want to keep going. But we're not good if enough. If you're a professional good football player, it's the problem. Want to keep we're, your we're not good enough. Go on. Go on. At least that counts as a shot on target. That is 
is embarrassing. Absolute embarrassing. How we conceded that. The ball was almost in our possession there. And we just allowed Celtic to just roam free in our own box. Did they say scored it? I think it was uh, Furuhashi. Tuffy. <laughs> you get those angles in. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Too much light flare by him, you know. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I'll tell you what, guys, right? The amount of abuse he gets from at home. <laughs> oh yeah, I've got a right shiner here, yeah. Uh, shut up, as in like, used to be made fun of him because he already knows. Like, you were right with your action. I was right for once. That's the only time I'll tell you you were right. Go on, shoot. Go on. Oh, that went through someone's face. Oh, penalty! Why oh. did he stand back up? Oh, why did he get back up? Oh, the referee was about to blow for a penalty there. Even at 4 0 down, you still can't get rid of the green light. <laughs> what are you supposed to do? And we've got a corner. I uh, have little hope of what's going to happen here. Are you trying to find his height? No! <laughs> of course you are. As someone who is merely 5 foot 8 myself, that, that is... 5 foot 8. Come on! Like... <laughs> <laughs> That's a great ball as well. Oh. That's over. Bertain, another cup exit. 23 years on this planet, I'm still yet to see Motherwell lift a cup. Loving life. Let's get home now. <laughs>